But I've got a problem with the water softener. The overflow has been pouring out water there. Uh, right, okay, so I've put a bowl underneath there. Just to undo them anti-clockwise. That's the inlet, the outlet. Like so. Um, and I need to undo the drain. Let's see, drain one to the waste. Take that off of there. So, yeah, where the um, injector module is, that's the Brian pick up there. We need to get a 19mm um, a spanner on that. Anti-clockwise. Being as it's brine related and overflowing, I'm this what there the brine pickup. I'm gonna undo this valve here. See what's in here. I think there's like an injector thing in there, but I need to examine that. What's going on? It doesn't look too bad. Right now, I've unscrewed that. Same thing. I mean, I clean it up with warm water, but it's not blocked. I can blow through that, as you can hear. Um, this bit we can remove. This valve. That one there. Give that a pull up. Give it a clean. I mean, it's not all gammed up, so I don't know what's going on really. Um, I took both the injectors out. As I said, I can blow through them so they're not blocked. And um, just clean it with fairy liquid and warm water, that's all. You can hear that anyway, so I'm cleaning them up. Um, I've took this off here this is the outlet waste which is that one there um, and there's a valve uh, sort of like an injector thing that's in it I mean that looks really gammed up so I need to give that a really good clean and the seal looks like it's a bit gone there so that screws in there like that that's the um, the waste pipe so I'm going to give that a good clean up and then see if I've got a seal somewhere. That is gammed up. Now, I've took the seal off. It's damaged there. As you can see, it's all got a bit of lime scaly stuff here. So I'm going along with an old, an old knife and just scraping that back very gently. Look, can you see it? All round there. I need to get all that off before I put a new seal on. Um, yeah, just used... <coughs> I've sort of circumferentially used a bit of um, wet and dry and gone round that, cleaned it up, and I've got one of these kits. So there'll be a seal in there similar to it, so that'd be good. Right, I'm now taking the brine control valve off. I've got a 19mm spanner on that. Just remove that. It's good really, it's a bit like a car, everything needs a service. So as I've removed that, look, that is proper gunged up. Can you see that? Look. So yeah, again, I'll clean that up with that soapy water, give that a, a thorough clean. And it's all gunged up in there as well. So yes, that does need a clean. Right, the last bit of that, cleaned up that quite good actually, look. That's well gunged up. Um, just using a, see that lime scaly stuff, just using that, that screwdriver like that and just gently scraping that back in there. Not digging it in, just scraping it flat as I can. And then I'll wash it all out. Right, same thing now, I've pulled that control valve out. 
as you can say that's got greeny deposits in there so I always should get that toothbrush in there and slightly with that screwdriver and just scrape all that gunge back you don't want no gunge in there at all really I mean the seals all look good but all the pulps you want to be clean all nice pristine right same thing now I've pulled that control valve out as you can say that's got greeny deposits in there so I always should get that toothbrush in there and slightly with that screwdriver and just scrape all that gunge back you don't want no gunge in there at all really I mean the seals all look good but all the pulps you want to be clean all nice pristine um, right now what I'm doing now the seals is I'm just using some of this lubricant it's like silicon lubricant just on the seals before I put all these bits back uh, then I put on the waste pipe uh, that I put that had some silicon or something on that so I'm going to put PTFE tape just as a bit of sealer before I screw that in okay I've screwed all the injector valve back on put them two bolts back in I pushed up that valve there that's the Brian valve I think that one see there as the clock turns um, mine's on the cam at the moment but you can you can turn that around to make it easier and I push that the valve in you push this in underneath and it's easier if that cam's not there because it could go to the left of it where there's a gap be easier so that's virtually all there now and also just one last thing you can blow this thing look listen this is the brine pickup so I know that's not blocked so all I need to do is bolt that back on and put everything back together now hopefully everything will be hunky-dory